Hi friends, good morning. This is Sajina. Today we can see the second lecture on fungal culture media. We have already heard about the five categories of fungal culture media used in mycology laboratory for various purposes. Today we can see each category in detail. First we can see the basal media. Basal media, you all know that it is the most simple or common media used in a laboratory. And the basal media, it can be used for isolation, growth and maintenance of common fungal pathogens. And here, I am presenting before you four basal media that is SDA, neutral SDA, SDA with antibiotics and sterile bread. First, we can see SDA. SDA, it is originally designed by Raymond Sabrod in 1892 and it is used for the primary isolation of fungus from clinical samples, for subculturing, for short-term maintenance of fungal cultures and it is an ideal medium for studying colony morphology of dermatophytes. This is the SDA plate. And the peptone containing media, it is supplemented with 4% dextrose and has an acidic pH of 5.6. And the medium it is also known as SGA or Sabrod glucose agar, Sabdex agar or Sab medium. And the nitrogenous source it is peptone and the carbon source is dextrose. And it's an excellent medium and we can add antibiotics or other inhibitory substances so that the medium can be made selective for isolation of the desired fungal pathogen. And th this is this land, this is the SDS land. And after mixing all the ingredients the pH must be adjusted to 5.6 and it is sterilized, cooled and poured into appropriate containers and the containers mainly used are uh, this screw capped bottles or we can use petri plates and these bottles they are cooled in an angle to form an agar slant. The test tubes are more ideal containers because adequate surface area it is provided by test tubes and minimum aerosol production on opening so contamination chance is very less and can be incubated for longer periods due to very slow drying of the medium. Then drawbacks are the saprophytic fungi, they may grow faster, uh, disturbing the true fungal pathogens. And acidic pH, it is inhibiting many of the significant pathogens. Then SDA supplemented with benomyl can be used for selective growth of basidiomycetes. Then second, we can see neutral SDA. Here it is a modification of the normal SDA and it is modified by Chester W. Emmons and he modified the original SDA and it is called Emmons modification. It differs from original SDA in the following features that is it contains only 2% of dextrose and neopeptone is present instead of peptone and the pH almost towards neutral so it is called neutral SDA. Application it can be used in diagnostic mycology for the primary isolation of opportunistic and dimorphic fungus from various clinical specimens and it is also used for the maintenance of wide variety of fungus. Then third one is SDA with antibiotics. Here it is used to avoid bacterial and saprophytic fungal contaminants and antibiotics they are added and the main antibiotics added are cyclohexamide, chloramphenicol and gentamicin. Antibiotics After adding antibiotics, we can pour it into petri plates. Antibiotics they are added only after autoclaving and cooling and it must be cooled up to 45 to 50 degree Celsius. Then antibiotics are added and mixed well and pour into petri plates and it can be stored at 4 degree Celsius. And the second medium without antibiotics must be used for parallel inoculation because this cyclohexamide it is having an inhibitory effect on some clinically significant moles and yeast. Then fourth medium it is for the recovery of mucoromycetes or mucor from clinical specimen. Here we can use sterile bread in a petri plate without any preservatives. The clinical specimen taken from these sterile sites can be directly inoculated into bread. Mucromycetes they grow rapidly filling the entire petri plates within a few days. Therefore that is the first category. Then we can see the second category that is nutritionally deficient medium. Nutritionally deficient media used they are mainly used for 
sporulation for stimulating sporulation and first one is cornmeal agar Benham in 1931 described the use of cornmeal agar for the stimulation of clamdospore production. Many modifications have been made and most commonly used or one of the commonly used cornmeal agar method or culture it is dalmoplate culture and it is used for observing clamidospore production in yeast and this is the cornmeal agar plate and this is the cornmeal agar ready-made media from high media and ingredients are cornmeal agar distilled water and tree nati that is one percentage of tree nati here at first we have to heat cornmeal and water at 60 degrees celsius for one hour then filter Add distilled water to make in 200 ml, then add agar and autoclave and pour into petri plates. Then zein, it's a protein extracted from cornmeal. So we can use zein instead of cornmeal and the role of twin 80 or polysorbate is to decrease the surface tension thereby stimulating clamidospore formation. Also be grown on cornmeal agar to examine the morphological details. Uh, therefore, we can use zein instead of cornmeal. Zein it's a protein extracted from cornmeal. Then twin 80, it is reducing surface tension, thereby stimulating lamidospore production. And yeast can be grown on cornmeal agar to see the morphology. Then tripe and blow, it's a vital stain. It can also be added to the medium. And which is selectively absorbed by lamidospores, making their morphology clearer. Then second one is rice starch agar or RSA. It can be also used for the production of clamidospores by candida albicans. And it is more faster when compared to cornmeal agar. Ingredients are cream of rice, twin 80, agar and distilled water. And this is the rice starch agar. Here we have to prepare the cream of rice. Then the cream of rice is added, added into boiling water. Continue boiling for 30 seconds. Then filter. Add water to make up 1 liter. To that we have to add agar to 80 and dissolve it while heating. Then autoclave pour into cylinders and leave it overnight in water bath at 60 degrees Celsius. Then after that decan the clear portion and filter through cotton. Then again autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and adjust the pH to 6.2 and pour into petri plates. That's all about today's session. Thank you for watching the video.